boys. There yep. Hey, mate. Morning. Hey, this is my mate Grant. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, Sam. Pleased to meet you. And hey, you yeah. meet Rusty last time. Yeah. Hey, mate. I brought these fellas down to see how fast these tiggy tiggy pigs are. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully these dogs are fit. Yeah, yeah, I'd, uh, I know one thing, mate, they'll certainly deafen them if they stop one. Yeah, yeah. Stopping one's going to be the fun part. Yeah. So we'll head out this morning and uh, we'll just get a couple of hunts in before the rain turns up. Yeah, that's what you did. Go and get the old man ready. Get the legend, old Jack Tiggy out. Yeah, yeah. with Sam and that down in Tiki Tiki we're just going to grab a couple of quad bikes so we've got plenty of cover and uh, heading up the hill now. We live in part ways up here we might let you uh, take these holders down to the goat dump and see if there's any pigs yeah and we'll get set up collar these little bailing dogs of mine up and and duck off this other side oh yeah That's see if idea. we can't cover two valleys and uh, make something happen yeah well, plenty of dogs in here oh there's uh, there's more than enough here to frighten something yeah yeah, yeah wicked Uh, fox, nice little bailing dog. It's got a good bit of stop on him, and uh, nice and quick the bugger. So there, she's the uh, star of the show. Tends to think she's the queen. Really, just makes the most noise out of everyone, and looks pretty on the camera. It's probably that other black dog that'll end up doing most of the work. This is Roxy, Roxy the Foxy. She's gonna be next year's bailing machine, hopefully. Not expecting much from her on this trip, but uh, won't be a bad one for her to be racing around causing mayhem. Shove a little tracking collar on her, just more for the uh, shock function on the front than the tracking, because I don't think she's gonna go too far. But it'll be a good start for her this trip, and uh, yeah, we'll see how she comes along. bloody nice clearings and stuff up here as we head towards those pines and we'll just we'll hunt right back through there into the wind and see if these dogs can pick something up. Yeah we just uh, we just seen a wee boar hanging out with the cows and uh, this little fella's He's just been chilling with the cattle. As soon as we put the dogs on, he ran straight back into the mob of cows and uh, tried to bloody cut us out and uh, stuff things up, and he did. We managed to get the dogs onto his back track now, and I think, I think they've just caught him now. Can save you, you better run. <laughs> Well, that was a bloody circus for a while there. 
this little pig here was uh, living amongst those cattle and he used the cattle as a bit of a buffer and cover split our dogs up they didn't know which way it was up joys of uh, sort of stock proof dogs they panic when there's cattle running and stuff going everywhere and this pig used it to his best advantage but we managed to see him break out of the cattle and decide to scoot and uh, we had dogs going everywhere at one stage there we had a couple that went back to the buggy and sat underneath it sulking because of the cows going everywhere we managed to nail him over here and we ended up with a pup and one of the main dogs on him not a huge pig by any means but it was certainly a hell of a challenging pig to try and catch amongst those cows bloody good to have good clean dogs because uh, that was carnage for a while there Absolute carnage, great for the pups, great pick for the pups out in the open here. Not the big boar we're after, but uh, bloody good eating pig and I'd say we'll uh, singe this one up and take some beautiful table pork home. Yeah, we've just pulled up here, we've just come up the track and um, just having a look along the side here and it looks like we've picked up a reasonable sized pig there, probably three, four hundred metres away, so we're just letting out the dogs now and um, we'll have a sneak along and um, see if we can nail this bugger. around these cows because if they bust through, yeah. if they go over that bridge, that pig's gone. We do have to go up there, get yeah, up on the other side of the fence, the other side of those goats go over and then drop back down. Drop back down on them. Yeah, those, we're not going to be able to go low, we're going to have to go too low, so hit the fence line. Hit the fence line Follow the those goats along the top. Yeah, yeah sweet ass, let's do that. The image of you running through my head. Just waiting for Joel to come up, he's coming up the leading spur down there. Um, bit of a look at him through the scrub there before the dogs are not with him so he's still following the dogs so we'll, uh, we'll head up to the top of the main ridge further up and uh, either see if we can cut the dogs in there or um, wait there for him or a bit of noise whichever comes first. little short legs you've got. Oh, he's a good pig too. Yeah. I, um, I put the dogs on his back track where he'd gone and as soon as he knew we were coming he went down the hill through those cows and calves. Oh, okay. They milled around, got grumpy with the dogs being there, mobbed my dogs and the dogs come back to me not knowing what to do and then when I tried to push through the cows they scattered and went everywhere and that was the end of that he was gone so be on the other side of the valley by now. Yeah. Be on those hills on the other side and they look a bit steep for an old fellow like me. <laughs> so, um, uh, it might not be over yet mate, I've, uh, we've hit this ridge and the dogs are going off the other side now that I've come back up to meet you so they haven't given up yet but uh, we've got them now, we've got them now 240 that way good. so it's a bloody good sign that uh, that's happened, I don't think it's the same pig. Mate, those dogs are taken off, they're, uh, they're going to 8.50 now, out of that gut, so they're still chasing that pig. So I'm going to get you to head back to the buggy, um, jump on the radio on the buggy, we'll so that we can communicate. We'll get down into that bottom of that basin over there, yeah. and you'll be on this base. Yeah. And then we'll be able to hopefully meet up down the bottom there somewhere. See where those dogs have got to now. Oh, they're going right down that face now. They're going right down. They've, sp they've split up, which is not good. We've got bear going one way, and we've got fox going down towards the creek. So I was hoping they'd both go together. We've got fox doing circles, mate. He's been loopy loops in the creek. I've got bear, probably she's, she, she's longer on. She's 600 metres up the valley. 
And he's gonna hit a pig down there, buddy. Just hang out here for a second. I think he's gonna connect fairly soon with the looks of that. I've got him almost, almost in the creek now. He's come up treed now. I'm just, I'll just give Granny L, mate. I'll give Granny L because we've got two dogs in two different directions. Cobby Grant, Cobby. Yeah, Grant, you yeah, Cobby. No, I've got nothing. I've got nothing on him, mate. You race back up. Give me that thing. You race up and uh, I've got a bark. It's Fox. I've got his bark indicator going now, too. Bear's still miles up. You go and get Grant and make sure he's got the radio. Yep. Okay? Yep. Quick, quick as you can. Split up. We set Rusty back. He's gone back to grab the other guys. We've got a good bail up going down the creek. Sounds like there's only one dog. So I'm going to race to that one. Hopefully the boys will come down and sort that other dog out. 120 metres just down here. we got this pig in the creek. We've got a good bail going on this one. We've got far to go now. The other boys are up the hill chasing the other dog. We must have hit a mob of pigs or something. We had two dogs come down here, one only a pup and still only learning. The other dog probably went about five, six hundred metres further up the valley. I don't know where that one's gone, but I'm hoping those guys are back soon. And uh, yeah, good dog, Fox, good dog. Here they are, here. They must have heard the shot. I was actually looking for a couple of carriers. You up to it, little man? Take the shooter, Russ. She's yeah. all safe and unloaded, boy. Oh, grab it. Oh, Down on here, she's waterlogged. Oh, shot. Look at Not a mark on her, mate. It's having beautiful eating. Yep. Got a handy old fella. <laughs> yep. Oh. I was like a hobbit in a hole. I couldn't get out. Shot, mate. Thank you. The timing was impeccable. I thought I was going to have to do the carry myself for a bit and I thought you boys might be doing a carry as well. Lead the way, Gandalf. Nice fatty, eh? Just caught up with the boys, we're just going to give this pig a bit of a singe and uh, I'm gonna put the billy on. Hey, we're just here at uh, Makatu Home Kills with Garth and Sarah, just dropping off some of the meat we got on our last adventure. How are you, mate? Hey, Joel, how are you? Yeah, really good. How got you? a uh, a little pig and a fellow hind. Oh, beautiful. So nice. uh, I'll leave it up to you, but I thought some of your famous salamis wouldn't go astray. Not a problem. Yeah, we can do that this time for you, Joel. And some some of those bloody cracking sausages you made for me last time. Oh yeah, some more snags. Some more snags, mate. They never go astray. Not a problem, man. We can do that for you. 
That's the pig. That's the little pig. And I'll take the heavy one. Okay, heavy. So you reckon steak out of the venison and sausages out of the pork and some salamis? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that on a coffee troll. Um, yeah. Take the best steaks for, and keep those and then do the rest of the small goods. Perfect.